if you were the kind of guy who gives a lot of credit to what's happening after hours, then maybe today will give me reason because usually I tell the viewers that it doesn't really matter what's happening in after hours, and especially pre-market, because sometimes it's not correlated to the, in the actual trading session. Well, at the time it was down 3, 38%, but now it's all back to, you know, the closing price of 26.52. Guys, let's look at what Jim Cramer or our big boy, Adam Aaron, you know, our CEO, retweeted from Jim Cramer. Okay, so this is from two hours ago. It is interesting, it is interesting and revealing that the legendary Jim Cramer has become impressed by what retail investors are doing to give Main Street real influence in shaping Wall Street. Main Street here refers to the stock market, to the big guys, to the suits, all right? Now, this is what Jim Cramer tweeted. And if you haven't watched it on the video, please, I made a video on, right on that yesterday, go ahead and do so. The combination of Adam Aaron's great work with AMC, his coming slate of films, and his support from my friends and colleagues at Wall Street Bets is a potent brew. So is that a friendly friend? Is that an inclusive friends? Or is that a royal friends? I just don't know. But I will give him a credit though, because at a point yesterday when I watched his Mad Money uh, um, um, show on CNBC, I wasn't really sure how to take his flip-flop on AMC because two months ago he was telling people not to buy AMC because AMC was defying all the fundamentals and it was going to crash down. Now he's telling the short sellers do not buy, do not sell AMC, okay, because you will lose. The readers will crush you like they did with GameStop. And it is true, it is true. I mean, just this week, the short sellers already lost more than one billion dollars just in amc alone but when you take the other high shorted stocks tesla gamestop uh, 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 nokia uh, uh, um, spc okay we're talking about 5.5 billion dollars so yeah it is true and maybe this is what we need to take away from this from Jim Cramer is at a point, guys, Wall Street have to give us more credit than we deserve. I mean, than they give us, okay? Because if hedge funds are losing that much money in a single week, in the other part of the equation is because we, the retailers, are making them lose that money. But at a point, the balance has to be equilibrated, okay? The balance has to, to be reshaped. And uh, the money they're losing, it's supposed to go into our pockets. But we are still to see that money get into our pockets. But yes, guys, this is definitely a good thing for us. Because if Wall Street gets to see what Jim Cromer is referring to here, maybe ironically, then we are starting, starting to win the game. Okay? 